it's been a long morning. Hello, welcome. We're in Bangladesh, we're in Dakar. Haven't left the room yet. We had a bit of an outing yesterday. I woke up with a very bad tummy. Um, I've had medication, I've had quite a bit of a cry, I've had multiple naps and <clears throat> it's time to try and have a shower. I've managed two digested biscuits so I'm feeling a bit positive. Still feeling quite weak and very fragile but yeah I'm fe I am feeling more positive. I feel really bad for Mama Bear because she's just sat around reading a book. There's no internet that's working and we've got a very uncomfortable bed so yeah we're gonna try and go out be careful and see how the day goes. Catch up with you later when hopefully I'm dressed and ready to go out. I think we're gonna go to the palace because it's inside, it's out the sun. There'll be toilets around. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Otherwise it's gonna be an interesting day. Ready to go. Um, I think I've got all the supplies I need, including spares of everything. Let's go and see if we can make it to the palace. I'm hoping that we can. It's, it's the next day. Um, didn't film any more after that because we went out, got some food, Mom ate some food, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. And we came back to the room. I'm still not 100%, but I'm dressed and I'm showered again. Got my sun cream on and gonna try and go out today. Feeling sick today more so than anything else. Mama Bear has been very good by putting up with me. And yeah, I think we're gonna have to take it quite slow. I've got medication and stuff with me, so hopefully that will help. I just can't, oh, I'm just annoyed because we're not in Bangladesh for very long. We leave Bangladesh tomorrow and all day yesterday I was either in bed on the toilet or asleep. To pay like $51 each, I don't know how much that is in English money. That's a lot of money for a visa. So yeah, we're gonna try and go to the palace like we tried to yesterday. made it to the palace. I've got a digestive biscuit which I'm nibbling on. A very bumpy ride. I feel very, very sick. But we've made it. That's positive. You can take pictures of the outside of the palace but not inside so it's going to be a really fun filled video isn't it? <laughs> Zoe with diarrhea. Zoe being sick. The outside of a palace. Bangladesh everyone. <laughs> hasn't gone quite as planned. The last thing you saw was some pictures of the outside of the palace. We managed to get round the palace but by the end of it I was heavily leaning on mum. I had to sit down like quite a lot. My head just wasn't in a good place. Like, I couldn't stand without wanting to fall over or feeling sick tried to find a tuk-tuk. There's a lot of cycle rickshaws around here but with the 33 degree heat and everybody being able to see me while I possibly throw up wasn't really a good option I don't think so I tried to find a motorised rickshaw. Couldn't find one. We started asking questions. We had a card for the hotel and I, I don't really know how it happened but there was like 50, 60 people like surrounding us and I was like on the verge of tears in pain and just not wanting anybody to look at me. Obviously that's all they were doing so I started having a panic attack. <laughs> just everyone kept crowding around. There were a couple of guys there and mum obviously who were trying to like shoot people away. I just I couldn't breathe and I nearly like passed out at one point managed to get to the end of that journey. It's like five past seven, so it's a lot later. I haven't eaten anything, I don't think. I tried eating some ice cream at a restaurant we went to. Mum had some food, so at least she's been fed. But I just, could, I just couldn't stomach it. I thought I was gonna be sick. So it's been a bit of a bust, Bangladesh, which I feel so guilty for because mum really wanted to see loads of things and there's quite a few things to do here in Dakar. Tomorrow we fly to Kathmandu. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow's journey, but 
Hey ho. Huh, hope you've enjoyed this video as much as we have. I'll see you next time when we'll be in Kathmandu and hopefully we'll, I will be a lot, lot better than I am currently. I thought it was about time I updated you again. We're in Kathmandu, yay. Um, the flight to Kathmandu was... Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Sitting on the floor waiting at points while mom just went around being a star. Um, at the airport there was a medical centre which a member of staff basically told me to go to. Um, the doctor there plugged me with loads of different drugs for various things. At that point I was feeling extremely sick. I couldn't really walk properly because my balance was off and still is off. But no diarrhoea so that was positive. I had loads of drugs tried to eat something last night at airbnb which i still need to sort out has taken our payment we had no address and one message which said sorry i'm out of nepal so i'm like okay that's great so the taxi driver we had from the airport was lovely they came and helped us find wi-fi find a cash point sort our lives out a little bit while i just hobbled along behind everyone carrying my bag we found a place to stay last night. I was up for like 13 hours on and off going to the toilet. I'm exhausted. <sighs> I've been in tears. I've had a little breakdown. You know how it is. We've moved hotels. I don't even know how we managed that. I've been asleep all day through work and drilling which is going on outside. I just finding it very difficult to do anything and I really hope this stops soon because I think this is like day four. I've been sleeping through this, can I just say that? <laughs> we wanted to do a couple of days at least trekking but I don't know how much that's going to happen now. I just want to finish this clip by saying that my mother has been amazing. She is such a cool lady and I am I'm very grateful because I've been this pathetic like the entire time I've just been crying. <laughs> Catch up with you hopefully when I'm better. Bye.